welcome back to my channel. So, like promised, I am gonna try to do two videos today. I know it's been a while, so I might not get the ball rolling right away. <laughs> but I promised a fitness video because you guys asked on my Instagram. If you follow me, it's the same handle, Mimi dot loves to shop. I have been sharing little bits of my fitness journey and also I'm gonna do an unboxing. We are leaving today for Portland so um, it's gonna be I'm gonna try to edit while we're on the plane and go from there. Anyway let me get started with the fitness video first. I did ask questions on my Instagram oh sorry I did ask you guys to ask questions on Instagram. That way I have something to really talk about um, because at this point I was just going to talk and not really have, you know, a direction with, with it, I guess. So without further ado, let's just get started. The first question is from LV Lux Love. What are the best cardio exercises to help lose weight? Honestly, cardio is all in your preference. Um, I'm not really sure what the best cardio is. Um, for me, personally, I look forward to Wednesdays. That is my Zumba day. And it's an hour of just dancing. And you burn a ton of calories. And it's really fun. So personally, for me, I love Zumba. Um... But I only take it on Wednesdays. I used to take it Wednesdays and Fridays. Unfortunately, the instructor stopped teaching on Fridays. So I only go to see him on Wednesdays now. He's my favorite instructor and the only instructor so far that I've stuck with. Because most of the time, I go to, say, a Zumba class that has a random teacher. And then, you know, the moves aren't quite there. The Zumba instructor on Wednesdays is so fun and... Yeah, so I had a lot of fun. I've been going to his class since June and only really skip it when uh, schedule is tight because the class is at 8 a.m. and that's right around the drop off for school. Like, drive like a crazy person so I can make it to his class. But other than that, um, other cardios that I do are after a strength training day, I do 20 minutes on stairs. And then if it's just straight cardio, I'll do an hour on the spinner here at home or as much as possible when it's a cardio day, I'll do an hour of cardio at least. The second question is from Mish. Did you cut out carbs or sugar in your diet? Did you find it difficult to work out without a partner? What pushed you to stay in your re regimen? And congrats on 60 plus and more. So... As of yesterday, I actually lost 65 pounds, and I am um, happy with that. But did I cut out carbs and sugar? No, I wouldn't say I cut it out. I Probably the best term would be to say I cut down on carbs and sugar. Um, you'd be surprised that what actually are carbs. So before, since I am Filipino, if you guys didn't already know, um, our diet is, like, our diet consists of having rice with every meal, basically. Um, and then, now, I'll just pick healthier carbs. So, technically, a salad is carbs, but it's just good carbs, and then it's, you know, vegetables. So, if I do eat rice occasionally. I'll measure it out, though. So, from half a cup to, you know, not, not more than a cup per day, um, most likely less. And then sugar, unfortunately not. <laughs> I am a sugar dessert lover, always have, I think always will be. Um, I just try to, again, pick healthier sugar. So like for ice cream cravings, I'll pick like a Greek yogurt, you know, ice Greek yogurt bar. Yeah, frozen bar, I guess. And yogurt bars. There's still sugar in there and carbs is just a little bit, you know, more protein and less sugar than your regular ice cream. 
did you find it difficult to work out without a partner? Honestly, I have partners, I guess. In the beginning, when it was the summer, when my younger sister moved closer to where we live, we started working out together. Actually, she was kind of like my motivator in the beginning and because she was a bikini competitor and so not like sexy bikini but more like muscly bikini it's still sexy honestly but um yeah so she started us out and then she had to move back um in the west side because of work and now I'm going to the gym daily with my older sister who's been doing it for a while. Um, we just drive together, stick to our workout plan, and you kind of go at it solo because it's like per exercise and we kind of have to take turns. But I guess that is considered like a partner. I've been trying to push my husband to come with us, but so far it's a no-go. Um, what pushed you to stay with your regimen? Uh, honestly, seeing results, at first it was like little by little. I, you know, didn't really see it in myself physically at first. And then I, the first, I think the first day I probably dropped like two pounds. It was probably mostly water weight and whatnot. But, <laughs> and then I liked seeing that trend. So I continued on. It's part of my routine now. So like, I'll there's another question later. Yeah, seeing results was uh, probably the biggest motivator. And then, especially now, when people see me, like if they haven't seen me in a while, they'll immediately notice it and say, did you lose weight or something like that. Um, anyway, congrats on 60 plus. Thank you. I am so happy about that. What are some things you ate, how many meals, and how often per day? So I don't do the whole every three hour thing. I still try to stick to three meals a day with maybe one snack occasionally. Um, how often? So this is kind of tricky because we technically do fasted workout, which basically means you haven't eaten, you know, breakfast. Um, since I work out in the morning, it's a lot easier. Uh, to not really have a meal when I wake up and then work out and then have your meal. So technically it's like considered intermittent fasting. I'm not strictly following it, but it is considered that because of the amount of time that I haven't eaten. So for dinner, say I'll eat right before six as much as possible. There are some, you know, it's pretty loose. I'll try to eat before 6 p.m., maybe even 5 p.m., and then I really won't have breakfast until uh, we're done with our workout. So I won't have a meal for, say, 17 hours. 17 hours from dinner to breakfast is considered intermittent fasting. Um, what are some things you ate? So the my diet kind of changed dramatically, I guess. And now that I keep track of my food, then it's a lot easier. So I do kind of like a macro tracking, which basically you track your carbs, fat, and protein. Um, you try to have mostly protein, less carbs, and less fat. Um, so now my diet is mostly protein, less carbs, less fat, like I said. Um... Yeah, so for breakfast, typically I'll have egg whites and maybe some breakfast meat, uh, healthier choices, say turkey, sausage. Although bacon, honestly, pork bacon isn't that bad. There's no carbs, it's fat and protein, which is, you know, fits my macros, and it's still very yummy, so. Um, and then for lunch, I'll have, say, a salad and then protein for dinner, protein and some sort of salad it really just depends I'm not like on a meal plan because I honestly don't think I can eat the same things every single day um, we still eat out a lot if you guys follow me on Instagram you'll probably notice that too 
but I'll just again stick to eating you know healthier choices um, sub my rice for salad and whatnot how many times you worked out per week PS you look amazing thank you I work out as much as possible seven days a week so every single day we have a workout I probably haven't skipped a workout since um, August or September I'd like to say and it was just <clears throat> I'm sorry it was just a cardio day I skipped um, and then strength training days I haven't skipped since we started I believe um, we have two leg days shoulders back so that's four days of strength training and then three days of cardio I do one day Zumba and then the second uh, the other two days are more free most of the time I'm on I'm on the spinner at home here in, in our home because it just saves so much time when I don't have to go elsewhere to work out um, but yeah that's our kind of like our workout schedule okay this question is from Moy what about stretch marks you had some do you have some do you use something against them etc honestly okay stretch marks if I really cared so much about them I would have taken better care of my belly when I was pregnant um, 90, 99 or 100% of my stretch marks I got when I was pregnant with my first and of course again with my second they didn't really quite disappear I started using you know bio oil like vitamin E and all those creams and whatnot but eventually I <laughs> I just kind of gave up and embraced my stretch marks it's part of for me part of my pregnancy and it was just something that I really don't mind um, they are white now so like white stretch marks basically means it's older probably harder to uh, remove but hopefully with like regular use of maybe vitamin E um, they'll kind of go lighter I don't mind them so much because I did have two babies <laughs> not that it's an excuse but if like I said if I wanted to not have stretch marks then I should have taken care of my skin better while I was pregnant okay please tell me about your diet how many meals snacks per day what kinds of food how often you let yourself cheat meals your exercise plan okay so like mentioned earlier I try to have three meals a day maybe one snack uh, more protein less carbs less fat what kinds of foods so for breakfast typically I'll have egg whites spinach some sort of meat um, you look up macro tracking you'll see that it's very flexible so you guys might like it if you just track what you eat so basically you'll need a scale a food scale and you know measuring cups and spoons and how often you let yourself cheat meals so even though say it's a cheat meal like my husband's craving ramen my kids love ramen then of course I'm not gonna be that sour puss in the corner eating something else I'm gonna eat ramen and I'll just try to track it as closely as possible because when you're at you know like ramen places how do you really measure that without having to break apart your ramen um, anyway I just try as much as possible to track what I eat even though it's a cheat meal and if it fits my macros technically it's still not a cheat meal so that's what's great about the macro tracking and my exercise plan um, four days of strength training I know this is repetitive I should have organized the questions better <laughs> but I'm just answering them in order four days of strength training and three days cardio <clears throat> do you lift weights good question yes I do this is the biggest difference I am doing now than I used to so before say in college and before you know kids and marriage I did go out go to the gym regularly but it was mostly for cardio I would what was I doing mostly I did was cardio and then boxing for a little bit of cardio and strength but I never really lifted weights I thought that weightlifting just made your muscles big and 
Of course, with more muscle means less fat, so that's what makes sense now. I do four days of strength training, that's two days of legs, back and shoulders. And then every day, just recently, I've been adding some core exercises to help lose my mommy pouch that, um, you know, I have. <clears throat> so yes, I do lift weights and that is a huge difference that I'm doing now than I used to. So I, in the beginning, it was kind of strange because I never really thought about lifting weights or, you know, using that squat bar that everybody uses. And now I completely love it. Okay, anyway. Hi, Mimi. How long have you been dieting and how much weight did you lose in that time? What's your goal weight? What kept you motivated? What can't we... Okay. Um, next, on the 24th of November, it would be six months into this. I, as of yesterday, I have lost 65 pounds. So my start weight was you know pretty high honestly I was I am not proud of my start weight I don't know if I'll ever share it so publicly maybe when I hit a goal weight but technically I currently I don't have a goal weight I just want to be as healthy as possible lose some of my you know like say under here in the arm area it's really hard to lose some fat and my mommy pouch, like I said. So I just want to be more fit. That is really my goal. And the weight is just an added bonus, I guess. And what kept you motivated? Um, again, seeing the results have kept me motivated and is keeping me motivated. And I actually really love, yeah, I love seeing the difference like I said, I don't see it in myself personally so much because I see myself every single day. But when I look back at old pictures, I'm just in awe at the huge difference. And yeah, I, I love it. I'm happy. Okay, do you work out? Are you consistent with the time of day? Do you work out whenever? What time? What do you eat? Love watching anything you talk about. Thank you. African Sun Star. African Sun Star. Yeah. When do you work out? So, this is probably my... I have to work out in the morning. Otherwise, you are more likely to miss your workout if you wait in, you know, later in the day when you're tired and you've gone through your whole day after work. You just want to go home and relax. <clears throat> and relax. So, for me, this is probably my biggest benefit if I did couldn't work out in the morning then I will still say if it's a cardio day and again it's loose so if it's a cardio day then sometimes I'm able to put it off till the end but I always regret it say I'm on the spin machine at nine at in the evening and I was like all I want to be is in bed but I, ha I do have to finish my workout and like I said I haven't skipped one in a while so in the morning, if you can, I know that sometimes it doesn't work out that way. My sister, since she started working again, um, she can't work out in the morning, so she has to do it after work. But, you know, myself personally, I love doing it in the morning. And then you're free to do the rest of your day. <laughs> That's my thinking. And then, are you consistent when the time of day? Yes. So as much as possible, I will just work out in the morning do you work out whenever so yeah like I said I'll try to do in the morning and what do you eat more I can't really I guess I'm being repetitive now more protein less carb less fat um, yeah when did you start your diet and exercise plan and what are your end goals you're looking fab well done thank you so much lots of love from Scotland and world so I started on May 24th, I specifically remember because it was the day after my youngest sister's birthday. On her birthday, it was a bikini competitor sister. Anyway, on her birthday, I told her we're going to have cake and the whole shebang. <laughs> and then the next day, we had to be serious and really work on, you know, our fitness and whatever. She She's already fit, but um, 
she was kind of like technically cheating because it was her birthday. Anyway, um, what are your end goals? Uh, just again to be the fittest as possible for me. So, you know, it's probably still a long way to go, but it does take time. And I understand that now. What is an example of what would you eat in a full day? How often did you work out? Do you follow any specific meal plan or workout plan? Um, so my breakfast is pretty set, egg whites. It's right after workout. So as much as possible, you want to have protein right after your workout. But I cannot stand protein shakes or protein mixes or whatever. So, I mean, I'll have... I've had like protein milk, say from the gym when I know that I was gonna skip breakfast, but again, it's not something that I like. Um, so I'll have egg whites in the morning. Three fourth cup of egg whites is twenty grams of protein, and that's only a hundred calories. So it's you get the most bang for your buck. Um, and I do use an app if you guys have been following my Instagram I use my fitness pal to track my meals and exercises with a watch and then it will sync to that so yeah and then how often do you work out every single day I haven't missed a workout since again August September I think I can't remember when and do I follow a specific meal no meal plan no again because I can't eat the same things every day um, I, I just can't. I need variety if I'm gonna be consistent with this. And then workout plan. Yes, about the workout plan, we did purchase a workout plan from an online instructor. It, it was technically a workout plan catered for my sister and that's why there's not really a lot of say core exercises she does because she's not a mom but she doesn't have a lot of you know the mommy pouch like I said and honestly I am looking into purchasing my own plan just to improve my workout um, in the next couple of months but I think I'm gonna do six months first so that's next week and then maybe after the first six months I'll get my own plan that's catered to me and I'll start doing exercises to work on my problem areas basically though uh, inst we can't share it because technically um, it's his business so yeah so you basically have to purchase a workout plan that's what we're following you you don't have to you could probably google a workout plan but this one's basically catered to fit you and what you need to work on it's kind of expensive I think around 200 300 range but again you don't really have to and then you kind of have to do it yourself so really your biggest motivator is yourself and because he's not going to be there counting for you because when we're at the gym and I see personal trainers working with clients and they stand there over you and they're counting like one two come on keep it going like you know that's good and all but this one is you know catered for you and then but you have to do the work yourself so that is I guess the pros and cons of it um, but yeah I think that was the last question and then yeah that was the last question I hope that answered most of your questions I if you guys have more questions I guess maybe I could do a part two or like an update later on and yeah um, I think that's it, right? So thank you so much for watching and I hope this helps. I can do another video if you guys have more questions, but maybe in a later time. If you guys want to uh, want to know what products I use with my daily workouts, I could probably link that down in the description box. Hopefully it's there by the time I upload it. Um, because I don't want this to be like a show and tell of products that I use. That's just not, that's just kind of weird. Anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.